Maritime security and the blue economy, how are they related to each other? My name is Christian Buber. I'm a professor of international relations at the University of Copenhagen and also one of the directors of the Safe Seas Network. In this short video, I like to explain to you how maritime security and the blue economy link up with each other. To start with, both maritime security and the blue economy are two recent concepts and they are invitations to reevaluate the attention we pay to the oceans. To some degree, blue economy and maritime security are two sides of one coin. Both concepts stand for attempts to better protect the oceans. Now, maritime security in principle stands for attention to the threats to the oceans, the risks, dangers, and fears linked to it, while the blue economy stands for the optimist part, that is the potential of sustainably using the oceans. Now, when we talk about maritime security, there's usually a range of issues uh, which are included under the concept. And uh, the most prevalent and uh, well-known one is piracy and armed robbery at sea. And this significantly harms trade as well as tourism, as we have seen in particular with piracy off the coast of Somalia. But quite obviously, smuggling of counterfeit narcotics or other illicit goods is also a significant issue because it undermines public health, as it's the case with narcotics, but also the tax monopoly of the state. Another important issue is illegal fishing, and illegal fishing threatens biodiversity and also attempts to make fishing more sustainable. Then pollution, criminal pollution at sea is also an important uh, question and that clearly threatens uh, the mar maritime environment. Last but not least, we should also include interstate uh, disputes here, conflicts between states, and these hinder significantly uh, the potential for sustainable ocean management. So there, these are the issues that we need to concern about, uh, concern about when we talk about maritime security. To put it in one framework, uh, maritime security, first of all, then concerns interstate disputes, extremist violence, often known as terrorism, which can have a significant negative impact on security at sea, and blue crime. And uh, blue crime can be classified uh, in three ways. First of all, we have uh, crimes against mobility, most importantly piracy, but also uh, cyber crimes, for instance, that target shipping directly. Then we have criminal flows and that are uh, all sorts of form of smuggling. Uh, and that of course also includes the smuggling of people in the form of uh, illicit migration flows. Then last, not but least, uh, last but not least, uh, we also have uh, environmental uh, crimes and here illegal fishing and pollution are the, the two most important ones. That as a brief uh, clarification and explanation of what maritime security is all about. Now let's come to the question of how maritime security and blue economy are related to each other. First of all, it should be clear that the blue economy needs maritime security. Why is that? First of all, maritime protection laws, when you want to protect the sea, then you need to make sure that the law is actually also being enforced. What is a regulation or a law good for if no one checks that there's compliance with the law and do, does something about uh, violators of these laws and regulations? Marine protection also uh, requires a certain degree 
of uh, surveillance uh, that is uh, to understand whether the measures actually work or not. Then coming uh, to two uh, economic dimensions, if there are high degrees of insecurity, this will directly prevent more uh, investments in the, in the blue economy as the environment is just too, too risky. Then <clears throat> last but not least, uh, blue crime also thrives under conditions of uh, 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 instability and uh, blue crime can directly undermine any form of economic development. But let's also look at the other side of the coin. Why does maritime security need the blue economy? First of all, law enforcement at sea is expensive and it needs to be funded somehow. And ideally, that funding would directly come from the revenues of the blue economy. Economic development is also very important in order to prevent blue crimes. Why is that? A lack of employment opportunities might create incentives actually for engaging in blue crime. So the more we have a positive blue economy development, the less crime we can expect to see. Then like uh, the blue economy needs uh, data from surveillance, also uh, maritime law enforcement is enhanced through uh, data on maritime activities more broadly. And that includes uh, uh, data on biodiversity developments, fish stocks, and, uh, and so on, uh, but also more general maritime uh, activities. In, so you can actually identify potential threats. Think about it this way, uh, where there's a lot of fish, there might be a higher risk of illegal fishing. So these are then the two flip sides of the coin, how maritime security and blue economy are connected to each other. There's a number of practical convergences. Uh, and by that term, I mean, Maritime security and the blue economy are ideally thought together. And there's a number of joint measures uh, that need to be conducted. So both sides of the coin actually benefit. And as I've highlighted uh, already, um, marine protection areas and environmental law need to consider both uh, the blue economy prospects, but also the maritime security side of it, how these laws are being enforced. There's a lot of convergence if it comes to data and surveillance uh, activities that should be hopefully clear by now. But then uh, as an additional dimension, both of uh, these agendas uh, also have a common concern over blue justice. And blue justice is largely the question of who benefits from the blue economy, who loses out, and how are these uh, incomes and revenues actually being distributed. And it's not only about the distribution of incomes, but it's also the distribution of the risks from any activities at sea. I hope that gives you a good understanding of what the relation between maritime security and the blue economy is. To sum it up, maritime security and the blue economy need each other. And in designing projects, programs, or marine protected areas, it is actually quite important to think them together. This is not always the case because different professionals and different organizations deal with one part of the agenda so maritime security is usually in the hand of Coast Guard, navies, or the police, but quite obviously blue economy actors include uh, fishing authorities, ports and trade, uh, and so on. So it's important that these different professional communities actually work together and collaborate with each other. If you want to learn more about maritime security and the blue economy, I would 
like to invite you to visit our website at uh, www.safeseas.net or join us on Twitter, join the conversation there and our handle is safeseas1. Thank you very much.